Hey guys, Andrew here today with yet another episode of Aspire. This week we wanted to show you guys a survival bike fit for a zombie apocalypse, a manual espresso maker for those who want the perfect brew, and some awesome details and pics of the soon to be fastest production car in the world. Welcome back to Aspire. You know, most of us walk around all day pretending that we like a civil, functional society, but the truth is that deep down, plenty of us are sort of secretly wishing there was a zombie apocalypse, and our lives suddenly turn into 28 Days Later or The Walking Dead. Come on, you can admit it a little bit. You wake up one morning, and all of a sudden you're part of a group of lone survivors looting from old storefronts for supplies and fortifying the barrier on your temporary shelter at the top of an apartment complex, all while shooting and clubbing the bejesus out of hordes of brain-dead zombies. And for such an occasion, you're definitely going to want one of these. This is the Motopet Survival Bike, Black Ops Edition, and it's a cross between a four-stroke dirt bike and a downhill mountain bike, with manual bike pedals included. That's how you get around, and as for the surviving part of it, check this out. The bike comes with a compound crossbow, one-gallon gas packs on either side, a survival shovel, tomahawk, harpoon, fixed blade saw, climbing rope and carabiners, lights, GPS mount, tactical knife slash light, and a multi-tool. It's practically zombie apocalypse on easy mode. If the cast of The Walking Dead had one of these, the show would be boring because the characters would never be in any real danger. But if real life turns into a zombie movie, I personally would still prefer to play on easy mode. Price is not announced yet for the Motoped, but looking at the prices of earlier, less zombie ready bikes that were around two grand, we're gonna take a wild guess and assume a fully equipped bike might cost you closer to five grand. Moving on to a much more civil topic, this one is for all you espresso fans out there. This is the Rock Manual Espresso Maker, and it's for those that prefer an experience closer to a French press than a high-tech gadgety espresso machine. It's for those that want to be on the ground floor and have complete control over their espresso experience. To use it, you simply load the filter, lock it into place, fill the chamber on top with boiled water, and then depress the handle to create pressure and squeeze the water through. How much pressure and water you use and the thickness of the coffee grounds will determine how the end product turns out. So the makers encourage you to experiment and enjoy the process of learning how to make the perfect espresso suited to your individual tastes. The other great thing about the Rock Espresso is that because of its simple design, it's very portable and also dead simple to clean. Two things it doesn't share in common with its much more complicated robotic brethren. The Rock Espresso will run you just shy of $200 and is available on Amazon with two-day prime shipping, so if you have to have it immediately, that's always an option. And while it's not incredibly cheap, it's certainly a fantastic gift to keep in mind for any espresso lovers in your life. And last up is a car we just couldn't possibly not talk about on this week's Aspire, and that's the Hennessy Venom F5. For those that were unaware, an earlier model, Hennessy Venom GT, beat the Bugatti Veyron's long-standing speed record this year when it hit a top speed of 270 miles per hour. Not content with just taking the crown, Hennessy hopes to rub salt in the wound as well when they release the Venom F5, named after the highest tornado rating on the Fujita scale. And it looks like it's gonna be an absolute monster. With its twin turbo V8, the F5 is rumored to put out a terrifying 1,400 horsepower, and thanks to its carbon fiber rich design, it will weigh just over 2,800 pounds. That should be enough muscle to make you wish you owned one of those special high G suits that fighter pilots wear each and every time you leave a stoplight. And as for the top speed, they've set their sights on 290 miles per hour, which would seriously leave the competition in the dust and certainly turn a few heads. Hennessy plans to build 30 or more Venom F5s, the minimum needed to qualify as a production car and therefore top speed records, and plans to start delivering them late in 2016. Start saving your pennies though, the F5 is gonna cost its future owners north of a million dollars. And that's it for this week's Aspire. You'll find links to the product pages for all of these three items in the description below this video. If you guys know of something awesome that you think needs to be shared with the world, feel free to leave a comment and we might just feature it on the show. But for now, we'll see you guys next time on Aspire.